Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the larger-than-life world of one of Hollywood's top guns, Leonardo DiCaprio. From his breakout role in Titanic to his Oscar-winning performance in The Revenant, this man has conquered the film industry. But did you know he's also a shrewd investor and philanthropist? Welcome back to Big Screen Business, the go-to place for the real scoop on the money and investment side of Tinseltown. Stick around as we unravel the wealth, investments, and fortune of Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's get started. When Leonardo DiCaprio was a sprightly young lad of 14, he landed a gig in a Mattel commercial, marking his entry into the world of showbiz. The commercial sparked a series of roles in television shows, like The Outsiders, Roseanne, and The New Lassie. Following television, DiCaprio made his movie debut in Critters 3. However, it was his lead role in This Boy's Life that really turned heads. He began amassing a string of critical acclaim, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. But it was his performance in the epic romance Titanic that catapulted him to stardom and landed him a spot among Hollywood's A-listers. So how much moolah has DiCaprio raked in from his films? Buckle up, because these figures are going to blow your mind. Over the years, DiCaprio has starred in several box office hits that have grossed over $7 billion worldwide. But it's not just about the box office earnings. DiCaprio has also negotiated some sweet back-end deals that have significantly upped his paycheck. For instance, although he received a base salary of just $2.5 million for Titanic, he ended up pocketing a cool $40 million thanks to a share of the gross back-end points. Not too shabby, huh? DiCaprio's portrayal of Howard Hughes in The Aviator earned him around $20 million. His superb performance in his biopic also fetched him his second Academy Award nomination. In Christopher Nolan's science fiction thriller, Inception, DiCaprio raked in a cool $59 million, combining his upfront salary and share of gross profits. His earnings reached new heights with The Wolf of Wall Street. While DiCaprio's upfront pay was $25 million, he also received an additional bonus based on the film's performance, taking his total earnings from the movie to a staggering $51 million. Make a lot of money. Yeah, I do all right for myself. While these figures are just a few examples, they clearly illustrate how Leonardo DiCaprio's star power and acting prowess have contributed to his enormous earnings from movies. With several new projects in the pipeline, DiCaprio's reign as one of Hollywood's top earners seems set to continue. But DiCaprio isn't just about acting. He's also a savvy investor, with a portfolio that includes everything from plant-based food companies to vegan footwear brands. One of DiCaprio's green investments is the vegan meat brand Beyond Meat. He joined the Beyond Meat team as an investor in 2017, and the company went public in 2019. Today, Beyond Meat has a market cap of about $903 million. Also, Academy Award-winning actor has made a strategic investment in British vegan shoe brand Lochi. The investment aligns with DiCaprio's long-standing commitment to environmental sustainability. Lochi's products are crafted using recycled and sustainable materials. This move is indicative of a growing trend among high-profile individuals investing in sustainable and vegan brands, signaling a shift towards more ecologically responsible consumption. And let's not forget about DiCaprio's real estate investments. Our man Leo is a real estate mogul, with a portfolio estimated to be worth a whopping $100 million. His properties range from a swanky apartment in Lower Manhattan to a private island off the coast of Belize. One notable example of DiCaprio's real estate investments is his property in Malibu, California. The actor purchased an oceanfront home in Malibu for a reported $1.6 million in 1998. Over the years, the value of the property inflated significantly, 
and he sold it for a whopping $17 million in 2017. Another significant real estate investment by DiCaprio is a mid-century home in Palm Springs, California. He purchased this iconic home, originally built for actress Dina Shore in 1964, for $5.2 million in 2014. This exquisite property boasts six bedrooms and 7.5 bathrooms, and is often rented out for high-profile events and short-term stays. The actor also ventured into the commercial real estate sector with the purchase of Blackador Cay, a private island off the coast of Belize, Central America. In partnership with a luxury resort developer, DiCaprio is transforming the island into an eco-luxury resort with a strong focus on conservation and sustainability. DiCaprio's investment strategy reveals a keen understanding of the real estate market dynamics. His investments are not just about purchasing properties, they're about investing in spaces that align with his values and offer long-term financial returns. It's not just real estate that DiCaprio splurges on. The actor is also known for his love of high-end cars and yachts. He owns a collection of luxury vehicles, including a Tesla Roadster and a Fisker Karma Hybrid. His penchant for yachts is well known, often seen vacationing on some of the world's most expensive ones. Leonardo DiCaprio is known for his passion for art. His art collection, which features works from some of the world's most renowned artists, is a testament to his deep appreciation for the craft. The actor's collection is as diverse as it is impressive, featuring works from artists such as Picasso, Basquiat, and Warhol. However, DiCaprio's love for art extends beyond collecting. He has also used his platforms to shine a light on lesser-known artists whose work he believes deserves recognition. A prime example of this is the documentary he produced about the Polish artist Stanislav Zukalski, which you can watch on Netflix. DiCaprio also has some intriguing commitments and passions that sets him apart from others. For instance, he is known for his strict vegan diet and his involvement for environmental activism, often donating substantial amounts of money towards conservation efforts. One notable instance of DiCaprio's philanthropy occurred in 2017, when his foundation donated $20 million in grants to more than 100 environmental organizations around the globe. The grants were targeted at combating climate change, preserving biodiversity, promoting renewable energy, and supporting indigenous rights. In 2014, he was appointed as a United Nations Messenger of Peace for Climate Change and used his acceptance speech to urge world leaders to address the issue. I was making so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. $26,000 for one dinner! Dad, we're not poor anymore. So how much is Leonardo DiCaprio worth? Drumroll, please. According to estimates, DiCaprio's net worth is at a staggering $310 million. This astounding figure is reflective of the actor's successful career in Hollywood, spanning over three decades. However, this number could potentially see an increase with his upcoming film, Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon is a highly anticipated movie directed by Martin Scorsese. Given Scorsese's reputation for creating cinematic masterpieces and DiCaprio's acting prowess, there's a strong buzz around the film. From a young boy in commercials to an Oscar-winning actor and savvy investor, Leonardo DiCaprio has truly made a name for himself. From expensive properties to luxury yachts to high-end art collections, DiCaprio's lifestyle truly reflects his status as one of Hollywood's top earners. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Big Screen Business for more insights into the money and investment side of Hollywood. Until next time.